They've got bright colors that shine in the sun and sometimes even glow in the dark. They will amaze you with their unique voices and magnificent appearance. In this video I will tell you about the five most colorful birds on the planet that you may not have heard of. There are lots of pigeons in every town and country, and we have a pretty good idea of what a common pigeon looks like. Well, pale grey with two black bars on each wing, pink legs. But what if I told you that there were colored pigeons? No, not the parrots you sometimes see in London, but a real colored pigeon. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicobar pigeon. The bird was found on small islands and in coastal regions from the Andaman and Nicobar Islands east through the Indonesian archipelago to the Solomons and Palau. It's the only living member of the genus Colonus alongside the extinct spotted green pigeon and the extinct dodo. There is hardly any variation across the Nicobar pigeon's white range. Male's head is blue-gray, like the upper neck plumage, which turns into green and copper heckles. The tail is very short, pure white, and has a one curious fact I'll tell you about later. Females are slightly smaller than males. They have a smaller bill knob and shorter heckles. It's a very vocal species, giving a low-pitched, repetitive call. Take a listen. Nicobar pigeon roams in flags from island to island, usually sleeping on offshore islets where it's so good no predators occur. Then the birds spend the day in areas with better food availability and, as common pigeons, not shying away from areas inhabited by humans. The white tail I told you earlier is prominent in flight when seen from behind and may serve as a sort of daylight. It keeping flags together when crossing the sea at dawn or dusk. The young bird's lock of white tail is a signal of their immaturity, clearly visible to kind specifics. It's obvious at a glance which flock members are neither potential mates, nor old enough to safety guide a flock from one island to another. Its food consists of seeds, fruit, and it's attracted to areas where grain is available. A gizzard stone helps to grind up hard food items, and I think it's unnecessary to tell you shortly about the stone. It's also known as a gastrolith or a stomach stone. A gizzard stone is a rock that is held inside a bird's gastrointestinal tract. And the small stones have functioned as the bird's teeth because pigeons have no real teeth. Important to say, the stones are not something that grows organically within the pigeon but rather are created from small bits of gravel that the pigeon ingests to aid its digestion. When I first saw pictures of this bird, I was discouraged by how beautiful it was. Bright colors, unusual tail, and blue head like a shower cap. I immediately set about researching the species in question. The name is Wilson's Bird of Paradise. The bird is distributed to the hill and lowland rainforests of Wagaya and Batanta Islands of West Papua. The name was given by Charles Lucien Bonaparte, Napoleon's nephew and a Republican idealist. The first footage ever to be filmed of the bird was recorded in 1996 by David Attenborough for the BBC documentary Attenborough in Paradise. Wilson's Bird of Paradise. He's got his own fashion gimmick, the bald look. The male is red and black, with a yellow mantle on its neck, light green mouth, rich blue feet and two curved violet tail feathers. The head is blue, with a black double cross pattern on it. It's very curious, the blue bare skin on the crown of the bird's head is so vivid that it's clearly visible at night. The female is a much more brownish, but with blue crown as well. The difference between males and females in this species suggests that the bird is one of many bird species to exhibit marked 
sexual dimorphism. I'll tell you a little bit about it. Sexual dimorphism is a condition where sexes of the same species exhibit different morphological characteristics. The giant red tail is as colorful as the bird itself. Males of these birds clear an area of rainforest to create a display court like a dance floor. Then they perform an elaborate mating dance to impress a potential female. The male usually exhibits the attractive breast shield and accompanies the mating dance with song and calls. The diet of Wilson's Birds of Paradise, like many birds, consists of fruits, insects, and other small invertebrates. The next beautiful bird is the Andean Cock of the Rock. At first glance, this bird appears to have no beak. The catch is that it has so much plumage that you hardly can see the beak hidden under there. The Andean Cock of the Rock was first described by English ornithologist John Latham in 1790. This bird is distributed in cloud forests of the Andes. You can find it across Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and Bolivia. The male has a black tail and wings with pale greyish scapulars. The most striking difference in the species a large crest which looks like a tangerine slice and brilliant scarlet or orange plumage. The female is significantly drabber and browner than the male and has a less prominent crest which tell us that this species also has a sexual dimorphism. In the breeding season, the male is devoted to very elaborate display rituals that show off his magnificent plumage. This consists of facing each other while bowing, jumping and flapping their wings, sometimes even snapping their bills and at the same time giving off various squawking and grunting calls. Take a listen. The Andean cock of the rock diet consists of fruit, supplemented by insects and what is pretty surprise, reptiles, frogs and smaller mice. Turkens are one of my favorite birds. They are very beautiful, unique and colorful. But in this video I would like to make a special mention to Carl Crested Arachrid, which was first described by Johann Georg Wagler in 1831. The Arachari gains its English name, as you can guess, from unique curly shiny black feathers on the top of its head. That's really curious, those curls resemble pieces of plastic or enamel. This bird can be found in western Brazil, into southeastern Peru and northeastern Bolivia, in tropical moist lowland forests. The Arachari's an oversized and colorful bill allows them to pluck fruits from vegetation as well as drink water from the crevices of trees. It's worth adding that their last three vertebrae are fused, joined to the spine with a ball and socking joint, which allows turkens to flip their tails above their bodies to touch their heads. They sleep in this pasture to protect their bill, resting on their backs, causing them to resemble a ball of feathers. The males and females of the species are similar, except that the female has a shorter bill. This tells us that the species is monomorphic. The carp crested arachri usually for ages in groups of up to 12 individuals and usually in the canopy where no one can see them. Its diet has not been detailed, but is known to be mostly fruit, eggs, and sometimes young of other birds. The last one, but not least, bird is the golden pheasant, also known as the Chinese pheasant. As you have already realized from the name, it's native to China. The golden pheasant has been kept in captivity at least since the 1700s. The first mention of them in captivity in America was in 1740, and some historians have suggested that George Washington may have kept them at Mount Vernon. 
The males have a beautiful orange cape that they spread around their necks to attract females. The species have a sexual dimorphism, so the female is much less showy, with a duller mottled brown plumage similar to that of the female common pheasant. But both males and females have yellow legs and yellow bills. A long exposure to bright sunlight can fade their intense coloration, that's why their natural habitat is dense, shadowy woodlands and forests. Peasants are not known for their flying skills. They are primarily terrestrial birds, spending most of their time on the forest floor. Anyhow, they are capable of short, fast bursts of flight. They feed on grains, leaves and invertebrates. Hey, my name is Jenny and I would like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.